Hello, S4 students. So I hope that you have already successfully used different materials in drawing your story. And now we come to the book binding part that you have to think about which method you are going to use to compose all your drawing into a mini book. So um, I have found in the Pinterest uh, that there's several methods. It is easy enough and then it, you just need to use a very simple material to create it. For example, if you just have drawing paper at home or even just A4 paper, you can also make it. So just um, calculate the number of pages that you need, okay? And then just divide it into rectangular boxes or you can also use different uh, shapes of the book. Because I found in Pinterest, some of the people they will use circle, they will use triangle, but you can also flip it like this, okay? So you can think about what shapes do you like. So after making this kind of shapes, then you can think about your book cover. For book cover, I will prefer a harder one. So you can find shoe box at your home or any cardboard that you won't use it again, that it can be your recycled material to use it as a book cover. So after cut it according to the size of your cover page, then you can find some cloth left behind cloth or even if you some if you have some recycled papers. If you have some recycled papers that you found out oh, it's accidentally made some very beautiful texture that you want to use it as your cover page, you can also use it. So for me I find a uh, leftover towel here that I found it I like green color so I use it in my book cover as well. What you need to do is just cut out the size and then use white glue. White glue. And then you can just use a smaller piece of cardboard. Put on some white glue on the top. So then you can evenly put the glue on. And then you can break it. So don't forget to let uh, some area so that you can fold it up. So you will, you can find at your home what those recycled materials that can be used in your own mini book making. So when you are sticking the cover of it, so if you have a clip at home just like those normal clip like this, right? Then you can clip it at the edge so that it can hold tight. And then it will dry for about 10 minutes. Then it can stick firmly with your cardboard. Then you can use it as the cover page. And then when you stick it with the paper, one at the front and one at the back, then you have a structure of your book. Okay. So the other method that you can use is also just using papers only. So this time I just fold the paper into six, uh, 12 boxes. So according to the pages that you need, if you want more, you can continue to add maybe one more row into your book. And then this method is very easy as well. So what you need to do is just you need to cut out the first row and the third row. So for this one, so you just need to cut. Until the last intersection point here, I have to stop here. So then it will form like this. And then the other part here. Okay. 
also until the last intersection point here. Then you will find that it will be very easy for you to fold up a bow. For this one, I would think that it is easy and at the same time, you can have more pages to use. So again, if you want to make the book cover as you like, so you can also use the cardboard with some cloth or some papers, different color papers that you like. So if you want more experimental method, you can still find in Pinterest, there are lots of them. I will also put some links for you to take reference. And here I got some examples done by the previous years, those alumni, and then you can see how they make their own book. So for this one, the material is unlike using drawing paper. This girl used tea bag, so that you can, after drinking a cup of tea, so have your own relaxing time, then you can reserve those bags and then because the natural color of the bag, it is light brown, which gives a very vintage mood to your drawing. So you can use it to be the pages of your book. So you can see this girl, she used liner and some watercolor to draw her own story. So if your needlework is good, you can try to use this method because you can see how they bind the, bind the pages together. They will use the thread to sew the edge of the book. So this girl also, she used some threads to highlight the line. So I just suggest if you are good at sewing, so this may be a method for you to create your own story. Okay, so there are quite a lot of examples, so I cannot show you one by one. However, you can find more examples in the Pinterest. So I hope that you can find your own method in making your book binding. So if you have any questions, you can still ask me through WhatsApp. So see you next time. Goodbye.